Office 365 gives us the ability to create public folders, which we can then share with other people within our organization. Let's take a look at how we do that in Office 365 as it's a little bit different than it was back in previous versions of Exchange. Let's click on the admin icon and the admin icon will take us to the Office Admin Center. And from there, we're going to click on Admin Centers in the lower left and we'll click on Exchange. Once we've clicked on Exchange, go ahead and go to the left lower side where it says Public Folders and Public Folder Mailboxes. Let's go ahead and click plus on a public folder mailbox. Expand this and we're going to type in vendor email. So this would be email we receive from various different vendors. Let's go ahead and click save. You may see a warning that tells you it's going to take about 15 minutes for this to kick in. That's fine. Just go ahead and click OK. So now we have two different public folder mailboxes. I created a previous uh, mailbox folder called customer email. And what this does is it creates the mailbox itself, but this is not the public folder. Once you create the mailboxes, then you go and you create the public folder under the mailboxes. And the public folders themselves are what's going to show up in your Outlook. Now at this time, you're not going to be able to see the public folders in your Outlook web access with Office 365. However, uh, Microsoft recommends that instead of using public folders, they would rather see you use groups. So groups allows you to create various different email that you can then have show up in Outlook web as well as Outlook. And it's just the newer version. It's better uh, than public folders themselves. It's a little bit more flexible. It's also easier to search content and get uh, content that you previously have not seen more easily available. So let's go back to our public folders and you can see here that we have the plus sign where we can create a public folder. So just go ahead and create one. And under the name, we're just going to put in client A. Just as an example, go ahead and click save. And there's client A. And let's go under where it says folder permissions. We have manage. And this is where you can go ahead and add people so they can have access to this new folder. Go ahead and click save and save. And we were successful, so we click close. And there is our client. Now, if we click on the pencil, we'll see additional information. That's really the edit button and we can see the path to client A. And it's under the public uh, folder mailbox called customer email, which is exactly where we wanted it. We can go ahead and click on statistics. You can see nothing has been done yet. There are no limitations that we've hit yet. And you can certainly uncheck the default and add in your own. So that's how we create a public folder mailbox and a public folder underneath it in Office 365.